Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. Press ban from Trump Hotel during inauguration week. By Norville Rose. The new Trump International Hotel in Washington, D.C., is a very busy place during this inauguration week. But it appears the five-star property will not be welcoming guests who identify themselves as members of the news media. Politico has published a story saying that one of its reporters was turned away from the luxury accommodations and not allowed to enter the building Wednesday morning for a breakfast meeting. The Politico report quotes an email from the hotel's director of sales and marketing, explaining, media is not allowed in this week in respect of the privacy of our guests. It's widely known that the president-elect's relationship with the mainstream media has been rocky, at best. News that the incoming administration may move the location of daily White House briefings from the relatively small press room to a much larger space off-site set off alarm bells even louder than those that have been sounding for quite a while among a press corps accustomed to privileged access and status. There were also instances where the media cried foul when, shortly after his stunning election upset, President-elect Trump ditched reporters in favor of a private dinner with family and friends, in addition to the more recent brouhaha over the president-elect enjoying a round of golf without a pool reporters. The antagonism between Trump and the mainstream media came to a boil only a few days ago when he scolded a CNN correspondent loudly insisting on asking a question and said to him, you are fake news. Now. The reported exclusion of news media from the exclusive Trump Hotel just blocks from the White House leading up to the inauguration is likely to add to the notion that Trump is at war with the media. There's no indication, however, that Trump himself or any of his family members was behind the hotel's decision to show members of the media the virtual keep-out sign. Trump and his adult children own the hotel project but not the property, which used to be D.C.'s historic old post office. The General Services Administration still owns the building, in which the Trump Organization invested hundreds of millions of dollars for lavish renovations. Because the location is still, technically, federal property, questions are being asked about whether denying a certain group of people, journalists, access to the hotel is legal, or whether it carries the appearance of prejudicial treatment. While those questions are being asked, and presumably answered, behind the scenes, what happened in full view of everyone outside the Trump International Hotel late Tuesday may provide at least a partial reason for the extraordinary ban on media being inside the building. As The Hill reports, a California man tried to set himself on fire, telling a local TV reporter he wanted to protest the president-elect. The protester was badly burned and rushed to the hospital. The Politico report complaining of the hotel's move to ban media noted, on Wednesday morning, the hotel was encircled by metal barricades while police officers stood nearby and a fire truck and ambulance lingered outside on Pennsylvania Avenue. An official looking black car with red and blue lights was also seen entering the hotel driveway, followed by a black SUV with flashing red lights. While there are no specifics available about who might be staying at the Trump International during this busiest of weeks in Washington, it's more than likely the place is packed with diplomats and other dignitaries. A Washington Post article in mid-November of last year, shortly after the election, observed that the luxurious and pricey property is now the place to be for foreign diplomats, the kind of guests whose privacy the hotel management would likely want to protect from the news media. What do you think? Scroll down to comment below. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.